Thanks, Chief, and welcome to the June training update. It's been a big month in training, a number of issues and we've been working on and uh, certainly some progress in a couple of areas. Firstly, I'll talk about our LMS or our Learning Hub upgrade. Our members will remember back in May, uh, we did an upgrade. We took the LMS offline for a week uh, and we introduced a new version. Unfortunately, that version hasn't worked as we had hoped and planned. Um, and there's a number of issues still outstanding with that upgrade. We're working really hard with the provider, the vendor, and our ICT team to get it back online, but we do know it's having an impact on our volunteers, our instructors, and our district CLDs and their teams. So we do apologise for that. Uh, we are making some progress and we're um, seeing the repairs come through at the moment, and we hope to get it back online in full version uh, shortly. So our general firefighter course, we've completed the filming of the upgraded program. The course has now passed validation and is now working its way through the learning hub and being loaded online. We're awaiting the arrival of the learning satchels and the instructor satchels so that we can produce those and deliver those with the introduction of the course. I just want to remind people that GFF version 1, or the original GFF course, is still open um, and available for members to use as we introduce version 2. We'll have a teach out period on version 1, so there'll be no requirement to finish version 1 once version 2 is released. Our driver licensing recording has been implemented and we're now asking our members to record their driver's license uh, through their contact details on the members online. The process for that's uh, fairly simple, no different than upgrading your, uh, your telephone number or your email address. Um, and it's a really important step for us to be able to manage our uh, driver licensing requirements. There will be a series of FAQs loaded onto the driving page of Members Online. So if people are a little bit unsure about some of the background, um, I encourage them to go online to have a look at that. We've done a series of handovers for our courses. So Intermediate Bushfire Behaviour, Fire Weather One, Strike Team Leader, Supervised Machinery and Work Safely Around Aircraft which are a number of critical courses that I know our members are looking forward to seeing. We've started the handover process in May, June, and we'll finish that in July, where our instructors then have the opportunity to understand the updated course, they'll review uh, the course content and prepare themselves to deliver the course in coming months. It'll then be up for the districts to schedule those courses based on their priorities within their districts. So there will be a slight lag before they're able to do that. Last week we saw the finalisation, the last of our instructor conferences. So we've run seven conferences for our volunteer instructors across the state, where we saw over 140 volunteer instructors come together over seven different days um, to get a bit of a picture of some of the things that are happening in training, um, some of the innovations, things around our GFF, our digital assessments, our LMS upgrades, our training enhancement plan, to understand where we're headed as an organisation. We've had some really good discussions and had good feedback through those conferences, and we look forward to um, further work with the instructor teams. We also ran an instructor conference with our paid instructors, and it was great to hear the passion of both our paid and volunteer instructors around all things training. Just in a bit of a 12 month wrap up, um, I'll just give an overview of some of the courses that have uh, been running. So we've conducted in the field through, through our districts, 30 respond to urban courses, which have seen around 230 people uh, now endorsed or um, accredited, should I say, as uh, respond to urban. 55 low structure courses and over 200 GFF courses, skilling over 1,200 new members. 37 drive on road courses and 68 policy and legislation courses equipping over 550 members in the critical driving regulations for Code 1 driving. There's been a significant increase in the utilisation of our campuses over the last 12 months. In total, we've seen over 2,622 courses delivered to over 16,400 members in the last 12 months. It's been a huge effort and I really want to pay tribute and acknowledge the work of all of our people involved in training, from our program developers, our RTO compliance people, our coordinators, our instructors, and also our members in the field. Thanks, Chief. That concludes this month's update. We'll pass back to you.